Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, x.e.l.o. And today what I want to do is actually revisit MK Slicer. I've been doing a lot more sampling inside of Reaper because I've been messing with the MPC key. So I kind of wanted to get that same feel inside of Reaper. So let me show you how I've been using it. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Reaper and this theme is called Reaper Tips. So uh, if you're not familiar, I do have a sample flip that I do every month. If you want to be a part of it, I have a Discord link below in the description. Join the Discord and you can actually download these samples if you want to for free. So all of these are some of the samples that I had. So I'm just going to kind of choose one and then go and make a beat with it. All right, so this is the first one that I saw, I chose, so I'm gonna use this one um, and use this as the sample. So it says that it's like 16 bars. <laughs> um, so first thing I wanna do is bring up the MK Slicer. If you don't know how to do that, um, and if you haven't watched my video, I have a link above, it should be above, hopefully, that I can remember, uh, to link to that video, the MK Slicer, so you can actually learn how to use it. All right, so here is the MK slicer down here and it's already processing the sample. So it says there's 108 chops <laughs> that it did. Uh, and we definitely don't need that. It is actually going by the transient. So um, you could also do this by the grid if you wanted to, to kind of just chop it how you want to by the grid itself. Like I'm just gonna do it by the grid and I'm gonna do uh, some pretty big slices. All right, and I'm actually going to go and put it into the MIDI. So I'm gonna MIDI it out. All right, and as you see, many, many samples <laughs> are in here, All right? So if I double click on the piano roll, this is what it looks like inside of the piano roll. Many, many uh, slices, right? So I'm just gonna control all, and I'm gonna delete them. And what I wanna do is go right here to where it has my uh, input effects, hit the little drop down here, go to MIDI, and I want to go to MIDI input. So I'm going to have it to where I can play it on each channel. So I'm going to right click on here and I want to automatic arm this channel as well. And I only have them on the white key, so it makes it a lot easier for me to kind of chop up stuff. Right, so you have an option to kind of do whatever you want to do with the sample. So I'm going to right click on the sample itself and I'm just going to remove it because I don't want to have it on uh, be seen. So I'm just going to hide it. So now that sample is actually hidden by the track manager, which is really, really cool. I'm just going to find some drums and then we're going to get cooking. And I also kind of want to make this like a boom bap ish kind of beat. So what I'll do is actually change the tempo to 95. So the tempo right now is 95 beats per minute. I'm going to pull a drum loop that I found and just drag that in here. And seeing that I don't need 16 bars, I'm going to kind of chop it down to about, I'm going to leave it at eight. So let's do that eight bars, right? Let's bring this back. And was, as you can see, the loop is not a perfect loop. Um, and what I really love about Reaper, if I go and click here at the end here and I zoom in, right? You can see that there's like this little line right here that lets me know that that's where it should actually end. So what I can do is hold down Alt to bring up the hand and shift so that it's not locked to the grid. And I'm gonna move it over till I get to that line. So about right there. And then I can just bring this back. And now we have a perfect loop inside a Reaper. Right? So now we just need to find some chops that we want to use uh, to actually make the beat. 
All right, so I think I found something that I want to kind of use. Let's see if we can get it in. All right, so we have laid down some uh, some of the sample in here. So here's what it sounds like right now. Right, so now we have some samples laid down and it, this is where like the fun part can actually begin. You can do a whole bunch of different things. You can add effects to make the sample stand out a little bit more and uh, give a little bit of texture, all those kind of things. There's a whole bunch of different things out there, options you can use. I'm just gonna kind of go through a couple of mine. I'm just gonna add like a reverb on here. I'm gonna add a delay and I'm also gonna add my chorus on here just so I can make it uh, a little bit bigger. Right, so that gives it like a little bit of uh, life uh, to the sample itself. Then you can always go and do like um, some other effects. So I'm gonna use this origin to kind of give it um, a texture to it. Right, so now we have a little texture on the sample itself, and then we can always even uh, pitch it up or down if we wanted to. So I'm gonna use Rhea Pitch and see if we can, if you wanna go up or down um, with the sample. I think I like uh, three going up. Right, so now we have so many different ways we can kind of mess with this. You can even, you can even like make this into like a regular sample on here by bouncing it out. Uh, but I'll leave it as it is right now. And I'm just going to see if we can find like some other sounds to add on to here. Like I'm going to go to arcade and see if I can find something really quick. I'm gonna see if I can lay down this, uh, distant voices. All 
right, so I'm just gonna quantize these real quick. Just kind of put them in place. And I wanna add some effects from Arcade onto it just to make it have a little bit more feel. All right, so now that we have that, all we need is a nice little baseline on here and we can get to going. All right, so I'm adding a Mudo bass on here and I'm gonna use the bass violin. I really like this one for some reason, I don't know why. And I'm gonna change to old and heavy and I'm gonna make it uh, five strings. All right, so let's see if we can. All right, I'm going to see if I lay down a baseline on here. I think I'm just gonna keep that first half and just delete the second half on here. All right, so now we have all that in here. So let us actually play what we did. And there we have it. A nice little beat made inside of Reaper. If you're not sure how to actually use MK Slicer, I have a video showing you guys how to actually use MK Slicer and where to download it and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this one. Make sure you guys, if you have any comments or concerns, please leave them below in the comment section of the video. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Till next time, people. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.